Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, it's great to have you guys all here. Um, it's a great honor and privilege and pleasure uh, to uh, introduce a great addition to our team and to our defense, uh, defensive tackle, DJ Jones. And uh, early on in the process, and before I uh, move on to talking more about him, I gotta recognize his parents, um, David and Patricia and his wife, Kayla. Um, and uh, you know, the big thing for us is that not only are we introducing him to the Broncos family, but uh, the entire family. So all of you guys, welcome. Um, but DJ is a player early on that we uh, identified in this process that could be an impactful player for our defense uh, on the defensive interior, playing the nose, playing the three, getting them matched up on uh, center, getting them matched up on guards. And uh, we're so excited for what he could do for our defense and bringing a championship level uh, presence and impact to our defense. So um, it it's with great excitement that we introduce DJ Jones. Open statement. Um, first and foremost, I would like to give uh, all honor to God. Um, wouldn't be here without him. Uh, my family, as Coach touched on it, um, I ain't gonna get emotional. Um, it's been a it's been a journey. Um, I've had ups and downs as we all have um, to get to where I am right now. Without them, God, the support of my family, uh, I wouldn't be here right now. So I just want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all deserve everything's coming. Um, but um, I'm excited to be a Bronco. Um, I would love to retire a Bronco. Uh, and um, I'm just ready to win, man, ready to dominate, uh, get with the rest of the guys, fellowship, and, and become a family. Hey, DJ, uh, Eric Delala, DenverBroncos.com. You came in as a sixth-round pick, had your four years there in San Francisco, signed another one-year deal. To get this stability, a three-year contract, what does this mean to you personally and in your career? Uh, it's a blessing, man. Um, coming where I come from, um, having as much support as I've had along the years, it, it means everything for them to have trust in me and uh, allow me to come here on a three-year contract and and prove myself, because to me, I'm still proving myself as a player in this league. Uh, DJ, Andrew Mason, the NBR, congratulations. Thank you. First of all, what other teams, if any, reached out to you in the free agent process? Um, it, was, it was a good bit of teams, um, some interesting offers, but um, we won't get into that. Um, we, we had a lot of love from teams, but I felt like this was home from the jump. Um, especially when they made the move on Russ. I knew it was somewhere I wanted to be. I wanted to win immediately, and um, that's what they're doing here. So that's what we are doing here. So. Yeah. And secondly, you kind of answered my question, but uh, I was going to ask you, what separated Denver from other teams? Was it Russell Wilson coming in or, or schematically? What were some factors that went into that? Uh, it was the culture before Russ. It was the culture now um, with him being here. Um, we're going to turn this into a winning culture again. Uh, this is a... This organization is is top tier, and I'm um, just excited to be here. DJ, uh, Nick Cosmatter with The Athletic. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. you. You've come close to that, that ultimate goal a couple of times. Um, you know, weren't able to play in the first Super Bowl. You guys were very close this past year. How much does that kind of fuel you, how close you have gotten to that ultimate goal that you've already talked about here? Um, I'm itching, man. Um, I'm itching to finally play in a big game, but um, – it's going to take steps. Um, might not be this year, might not be the next, but I feel like they've put something together here that uh, that will eventually put us on top. DJ Zach Stevens with DNVR. Welcome to Denver. Uh, just to dive a little deeper, how important was it that the Broncos had Russell Wilson, that they had a quarterback for you to come here and feel like this was a, a team that's ready to win? 
Uh, stability is everything, um, especially playing against a guy like Russ, um, knowing his tendencies, knowing that he's going to give you his all every game. Uh, it was it was it was a lot on the line. Um, so when I knew he was a quarterback, I I didn't flinch. Um, I, I I wanted to be here from the jump. EJ Troy ranked from Denver seven. Yes, sir. You kept improving, it looked like, in San Francisco. What was the key last year where you, you were dominant? You're a bit of a dancing bear, too. Like, can you move inside, outside? How would you describe your play? Uh, I wouldn't call myself a DN or anything, but um, I might have got some feet from my father. Um, just, uh, I like to attack the ball wherever it is. Uh, that's something that was instilled in me from an early age, and um, it stuck with me forever, so. Um, I just like to I like to make plays all over the field. DJ, I'm kind of following up on a couple of questions you had earlier. Eric yes, Goodman sir. with Mile High Sports Radio. NFL Network reported you had more money in terms of offers from other teams. Mm -hmm. A, is that true? And B, if it is true, how much was Russell Wilson a reason why you wanted to come here? Um, I wouldn't say... There was more money on the table. I ain't gonna go all the way into the money or anything, but um, I let y'all write the stories. Um, but but uh, Russell Wilson uh, was a big part of the reason I came here. Like I said, playing against him for five years, um, just chasing him around, making a few plays on him, man. But um, he did more than I did against him. So um, I know what he's capable of, and I'm excited that he's my quarterback. Yes, sir. Hey, DJ, Will Peterson from 104.3 The Fan. Wanted to know if you've uh, talked to any of your new teammates, specifically on the defensive line, and what those conversations have been like so far. Yes, sir. I've talked to uh, Dre. Uh, I've talked to Deshaun Williams, Chubb. I've talked to Gregory. Um, I know some guys on the team. So it just feels like family here. That's why I'm, I'm so excited. Um, the, the vibe here, the aura is, is, is uh, top tier. I love it. DJ, Coach Evero, Coach Dixon, what have been your initial impressions of them? And then, obviously, being in the division with the Rams, you've seen their defense. Yep. So maybe what do you expect from that system and how you fit in that? Uh, dominance. I expect complete dominance. Um, be able to stop the run and then have some fun after that. Um, third down, we're going to get to the quarterback. Um, and on early downs, we're going to stop the run. So that's what I expect. That's what I've seen, and that's what I expect. What are my impressions? Um, I love him already. Um, had dinner with him. Um, I've talked to him extensively, and I'm just ready to, to learn um, from all of them because there's still more on the table for me to learn. DJ, can you talk about Scuba, Mississippi, and, and how big that stop was for you? You talk a lot about winning. 24-0 mm -hmm. and 0 over two years must have been a big part of, like, getting that taste. Yes, sir. Um, that was, uh, I feel like that was the part, that was the beginning of my, my adulthood. Uh, going to junior college and actually being on my own and having to figure things out. Um, but I, also there I had a family, and it started from there. Everywhere I've been, I've had a family. And um, just coming here, just it's another family to be to be added on to the list. But um, Scuba, was, Scuba was everything for me, man. Just like you said, 24-0, it was un unstoppable. Is Buddy Stevens what we all saw in the, the show? Yes, sir. I talked to him yesterday. He just congratulated me, but he's exactly who he is. DJ, uh, George Stoy with the Gazette. Yes, sir. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of talented quarterbacks in the AFC West, Patrick mm -hmm. Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr. Yes, sir. How much do you look forward going up against guys like that and maybe getting in the backfield? I love competition. Um, that's what I feel, I feel like that's what drives every athlete, no matter what sport you're in, but uh, I love competition. Those are three great quarterbacks you just named, and um, I'm ready to compete. DJ Zach Stevens again. Uh, a few questions about Russell Wilson for you already, but yes, what, to, to flip it around, you had a decent amount of success against him and actually uh, have, have sacked him a couple of times. What will it mean to, to pair up with him, and what was it like having that, it, that, that success against him? Uh, I know how tough it is to, to game plan for him, to actually execute against him. So I'm going to be on the sideline watching now. So. That's, that's exciting for me. Uh, I talked to him yesterday, and we're both excited to be teammates and not opponents anymore. Last question for the race. DJ, what does it mean to be in this position to take care of family and you know, to reach this level, given as a six-round choice, you know, mm -hmm. you're trying to just survive to make the, a team?
mean? Yes, sir. What does it mean and, and describe your journey to get to this point? It's a blessing. Um, what they've done for me over the years is um, it's beyond my like beyond my reach, man. I couldn't repay them. There's nothing I could do to repay them, but I, all I could do is be a great father to the child I have on the way because of the way they treated me. Um, I got three older sisters that deserve the world, um, so that's what's expected. Look at him crying. <laughs> Father's crying. I love you. I love you. I love you, Ma. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Kayla, um, and my little baby and her belly. But um, it's, it's everything. Um, just to know that I have financial stability, but this isn't it. Uh, more money, more purpose. So, yes, sir. DJ, thank you. At this time, we'll have brother of the DJ and the family, followed by a little gaggle off to the side. The DJ, if you have any follow-up questions for Prince. Yes, sir. Family.